hello guys welcome back to the software testing tips and tricks channel so in this video we will talk about how to download the files and how to handle download files uh, using the playwright so in automation when you are come across downloading the file what all you need to know is how how download event is occurs and when you click on download it should wait till the download ends and uh, it should save at the files uh, you specify so in playwright uh, there are uh, uh, there is an option to handle the downloads so if you see the documentation uh, it will give you everything so here what we are going to do is like we will open the uh, uh, website which has some download buttons and it will download some sample files so this jpg i will try to download so it will click on download so let's go through code first then i will write the code and uh, i will show you how it works and once it is done, I will explain uh, the documentation as well. So watch the video till the end. So let's start coding. So this is the file I have created. So let's copy from uh, here. So this is the uh, code I am writing. So first of all, uh, let's uh, post our URL. So first uh, thing always you need to do is uh, add the right name. So handle file downloads and uh, url you need to post is like uh, let's directly post to jpg so we do not need to travel all website so it will go to this site now we need to do is we need to handle the downloads so for handle the downloads this is the code i will explain so i am just copying it now so what is it it is doing is like it is uh, uh, waiting for the event download so as explained in the here uh, <coughs> in documentation uh, whenever a download uh, triggers there is a event called download which triggers on page.on so this event will trigger and so we are waiting for the event to occur and uh, this block will handle that and then get by text download.click so we are clicking on this uh, download button so we need to write the xpath for it so i am seeing multiple download buttons here so we need to uh, separate it out using the uh, some nth element we can use or something so let's uh, try page dot uh, get by roll it is link right so we need to add it link so this is link and we need to give it the name of the download so name and it has download it's capital D right yes and we need to pass nth element so this should be in text dot nth I am trying to download second one so we can put one dot click so it should click on nth element uh, we are getting some error here so let me check the format okay it should be small bracket so what you call small bracket or something else so now this should work so we are uh, clicking on this link and we are downloading it and now after downloading we are just getting download uh, uh, one uh, and uh, <coughs> Uh, this uh, using this constant object we got from download promise we use that download promise and save and here we need to path where we want to save so let's uh, give right now tests only so in this tests folder it should get saved so this is the whole code i have written so uh, we uh, we can try running it So now it is running it has opened this uh, file and it has downloaded that and let's back to code and it got passed and here you can see like this is generated inside test one so we have run successfully and we get that image so this is how you can verify also you can verify using uh, this image uh, and you can compare it like it is exactly same or not uh, using that uh, screenshot comparison but it will be tricky because we are downloading now so you need to keep one and once you download you need to take the screenshot of that and you need to check but uh, 
say you can just uh, this will handle uh, will get gave you the promise that it get downloaded successfully and uh, it goes fast so if uh, it uh, doesn't occur or something would fail or directory was not okay it would give the error so this is how you can handle the downloads so in documentation there are a couple of things you need to know first thing is the event which event is it triggering so it uh, triggers page on dot on download event and uh, uh, this is the code we have written so i have copied from here so first thing it does is like it wait for that event and we need to trigger that event and uh, we need to create constant for download promise and once download uh, is done we need to save it so we need to give the path where you want to save it so it is very easy in playwright and you can directly give your path and uh, uh, you can pass this so if uh, sometimes what happens is sometimes you don't know when download starts so if you go to some website and download start automatically right so in this case you can handle it like this page dot on download event you are passing and uh, it will download uh, and start uh, running your code like whatever code you have written it keeps on running but uh, whenever download occurs it will download and show you the download path so in console.log or in report you can print that path so you come to know like download occurred uh, in this path and you can check like if that file exists or not so this is how, how you can uh, uh, handle the downloads if you have any doubts feel free to ask in comments and if you like that video the, if this is helpful click on like button and share it to your few friends also i am available on social media links are in the description where i keep on sharing funny memes on software testing tips and tricks so check it out thank you